There's just something about a good knife, and even better when it's custom and local. Ross Tizer makes stunning knives, and he has been awarded a cool recognition from Garden and Gun. He joins us in studio this morning to talk about his company and that award. Ross, always good to see you, sir. Good to see you yes. again, my friend. Yes, welcome back. So, uh, first of all, talk about how you got into knife making. Like, how, oh, how did that happen? Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, we've <laughs> got to go back over 30 years. Uh, there's a gentleman in Arkansas by the name of Jerry Fisk. He is a master smith in the American Bladesmith Society and the only knife maker in this country to be named a national living treasure. Wow. He came to me, uh, needed some stonework done for a piece that he was working on, wanted to know what it was going to cost him, and I said, well, I want to learn how to make knives. <laughs> and uh, he took me under his wing, taught me one-on-one -on -one at his shop, and it's a disease, Jamarcus. It gets in your blood and there is no cure. You're ed up with it, right? I am. I am ed up with it. And these are fantastic. And you just got a really cool uh, recognition from Garden and Gun. Yes, I did. Um, they have uh, what they call their Made in the South Awards. Uh, that program is open to every state in the Southeast. Uh, people are nominated for different categories. There are six different categories. I was nominated for the outdoors category and ended up being one of four that won in the Made in the South awards for the outdoors category. And the Southeast region is, is huge. It's, like it's goes North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Arkansas, Tennessee, Louisiana, <laughs> Georgia, uh, Florida and Texas. I mean, that's a major category. So congratulations yeah. on that. And, Thank the, you. and I'm sure the orders are coming in from all over. Oh, all they are. All, all over. So let's talk about some of the different types of knives. People probably know the culinary knives that they use, yep. you know, to, to cut meat, yep. steak, I've and got stuff like the, that. The steak knives, a set of steak knives that I've got here. Uh, this is one that I designed. Uh, it, it was named my Wicked Ulu. <laughs> Wicked uh, Ulu. And uh, it comes as a set uh, with the cutting board. They're made locally by another craftsman by the name of Aaron Harris. Mm -hmm. uh, he's actually head of the English department at Boiling Springs High School. <laughs> there you go, multi-talented. Uh, and uh, like me, uh, he's got a full-time, he had a full-time job, has a full-time job, but he's following his passion. And uh, what would I, you use an Ulu for? Oh, this, this is... The ladies use it for everything they need it for in the kitchen, uh, whether it's chopping up vegetables for a salad. Uh, I've got one client, uh, he saw it and he had to have it and that's what he uses for his brisket okay. every Saturday. That's what he cuts his brisket <laughs> All up right. with. And take us down the line to introduce uh, some is, of these. This is a hunting knife, um, what we call a drop point hunter. Uh, this is a design that I came up with uh, for the hunters, it's called a bird and trout knife. Uh, you actually wear it around your neck. Okay. And that, that sheath, uh, if you're sitting in the tree stand and can't get to a knife on your belt, uh, you've got this small knife that's readily handy. Awesome. And, and when people get these customized, they can customize everything from, you know, the handles. What are some of the yep, things the that first, people The first question I ask when a, a new client comes to me, I ask, what's the knife going to be used for? Because use follows function. Um, so that's the first question. And then the second question is, if it's someone that's not local, I ask for a turkey picture. <laughs> when you were in elementary school and Thanksgiving rolled around, you placed your hand down and you traced around it to make a turkey uh -huh. picture. Okay, well what that does is that gives me the measurement from the huh. middle finger to the base of the thumb and from the index finger to the base of the palm so that I can make the knife to fit yeah. their hand. So that was actually some, some function to that, that seemingly yeah. silly exercise. Everybody's right? hand is different. Yeah. <laughs> the, the first person I had to ask for a turkey picture was Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> because there was no way I was gonna make a knife that would fit my hand that would fit his. Yeah. And he got his knife and it fit him perfectly. I mean, that's a, so. That's an incredible story. That's, that's a good one. Uh, so people that are watching this and they're saying, hey, I want, I want to get on the list. I want to be able to get, they make great gifts. They make um, great things to have in your own home. They can go to your website and yes. set that up? Yes, they can go to my website. They can contact me through my email, which is also on my website, or they can call me. Phone number's on the website as well. Um, and like I said, I, I make kitchen knives, chef's knives, hunting knives, 
folding knives. This is the design. These two here are the design that won me for gardening gun. Yep. It's called my Sunday go to meeting knife. <laughs> Everybody um, needs a Sunday go to meeting knife or whatever knife that you could ever think of. RTCustomKnives.com to uh, go and get one of Ross's designs. Congratulations on everything. Thank and you so yes, much. And come I back and see it. us again soon. I appreciate it.